the area that you're doing the fitness training, or is that in, in more uh, uh, more weights, more bicycles, and if, and all of that is included in what you can, and so we're expanding that area, including more um, you know treadmills, more weights. Is it both, or is it? Just it is both. Circle. It is both, but it, it's still it's still to be determined. I haven't hired architectural. I mean, this is visionary of where we could put it at the lowest cost and be able to achieve the goals in which we have, or the issues that we have today with our fitness. Um, that was here. Uh, the base improvements. We hear a lot about parking. Nobody likes to pay for parking, but parking does cost money as well. So, um, looking at that as well. We're here for this site specifically, and I, I will be honest, because that's the only way I know how to be with people, is that the, lots of the conversation around aquatics. I know we have some representation from folks that are avid aquatic users, but where it came through with the Citizens Task Force is adding lanes here, taking the current um, existing, now this is the existing pool, even with the two lanes here, and making a separate body of water so that we can have a different temperature, as well as to accommodate all of the aquatic, um, the water aerobics, the water exercise, youth. There's a large, you know, parents are reaching out to me constantly that their kiddos are just kind of going up to the King Supers, and, and this would hopefully attract more of those older ages. So looking at an additional lap lane to the pool, but it would be multi-use too. And certainly, we're, the Citizens Task Force asked to, to make sure it could accommodate swim teams um, so that they could use those for lap lanes for swim meets and those types of things. Okay, I've got you first. Would, would you be building a six-lane pool and doing something else with the other two lanes, or is it a four-lane pool that you'd be adding? It would be a six lane. We would be separating the current one so that it becomes just one body of water, and then the lap lanes would be a different pool in itself. We haven't gotten through all the, you know, maybe we can have a garage door and make it give it, you know, a little more appearance, but these are just the preliminary review. So that's, that but graphic it, says four lanes, and the, the image shows six. Adding four lanes so that there's four, six four, lanes. Six. There's two now. Yeah. You add four to six, but there's six on that graphic. Right. So once again, this would become its own body of water, have six lanes. Correct. Not eight, it would be six. And you take the other two out. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry. I'm concerned about the access since you're building out that way. You know, originally when they built Buchanan, the county wanted to have two access mm -hmm. points. And is there any discussion about putting in a second access when these improvements are done? meaning access off of Evergreen Parkway from a road perspective? Yeah. I haven't asked that question recently, but I'll, we'll put that question down and make sure that we get the an answer to that. Okay. Okay. Um, once again, if you need to later, come on up and, and you can see these. These are also on the website for you to view if you if you'd like to review those. Um, this is switching to Wolf. This isn't as pretty, but this is a basically taking our locker rooms at Wolf. Right now we have what's called the Buddy uh, Shower, and actually we need to get those up to code, um, and having the individual stalls. Apparently people aren't supposed to be sharing their bath water, so we need to actually get that up to code. Uh, we talked about making sure that we can hopefully gain a couple of more showers for that, but this is something that we need to address as, as a district. Um, an elevator, how many of you, by a raise of hand, have been able, it's not really an elevator, it's actually referred to as a lift. Have you been able to use, the, everybody know where it is? Yes. A lot of people don't even know where it is. So, the, we would need to be looking at uh, the, the current lift, bringing you up to the second floor, and then having the ability to get you at the third floor. We have a third floor, a classroom on our third floor that we use, however, we can't, use if there's a constituent or someone coming that has um, a physical disability because we can't get them up to the third floor appropriately. So um, looking at an elevator replacement. 
Um, once again, these are the things that not everybody likes to pay for, but big tickets. This is, and I apologize, this is, an, this is a GPS map looking from the, obviously, the sky down to the wolf current pool. So that's the footprint for the wolf pool. Um, and if you can see the wolf pool, um, in order to achieve what we hear from moms with little ones, our swim team, uh, our water aerobics, all of our aquatic users, how can I get a gentle balance and achieve the, the goals of our aquatic, to address our aquatics needs, which are pretty extensive. As Brian said, this pool, it's really, it's 46 years old now. Um, and there's been the question, is that pool going to sustain itself? We did look at, um, you know, it, what would it cost to just kind of repair some of, I call it the guts, kind of the cast iron, all the things that people don't see, because I think our staff do an amazing job making that pool look well, and we take care of it, and we have taken care of it for years, but it's getting harder and harder, meaning parts aren't available anymore. So simple things like that, that it's not always kind of seen to the public. But to just do repairs, you're talking $2 million to just kind of go in and redo the guts. And that's not a guarantee that it's going to last more than 10 years. So we would be coming right back at you saying the pool shut down, and then this community would be out of a pool. I mean, certainly, hopefully, we'd get the Buchanan piece done. But this is something that is a huge uh, driving attention. So just for purposes of um, giving you kind of some better visuals, since I'm such a visual, this actually would become a, a separate body of water to achieve having warmer temperatures, because we know our lap lane swimmers, it's not even healthy for you to be swimming in, in the higher temperatures. Right now we're at like 82 to 83 for our lap lane, but if you have a little kiddo doing swimming lessons in there, they're freezing. How many of you ever tried to learn to swim like this? And they're not learning to swim. They're actually learning to not enjoy the water nor the experience. So creating a separate body of water with warmer temperatures could help achieve that. As well as I've heard from our swim team that they could use this for the younger um, swimmers that are just coming up, maybe under 10 years of age. Um, and it would push out to, we refer to this as the employee parking lot, so we gain the extra space. Once again, as Brian mentioned earlier, Jefferson County owns all this land. However, I have been in communication with Jefferson County and they would be open to this. Of course, everything has to go through their process and their approval. But this would be looking at $8 million. There was another idea too on the table to help with the swim team to have what's called a stretch pool. So once again, the same design, but it would still be one body of water, but it would just still extend out and it would be an extended um, <coughs> six lane, 20, 25 yards um, stretch pool, as they're called. All right. Yes. <coughs> I totally agree with the energy property national flavor, but the mandate is not a healthy way to do things. Um, and your pool ideas are awesome. You know, the extension of you can and possibly doing a separate pool, because I know that that's a big problem for a lot of people not on the the scheduling and everything. If you get the funding, do you do can first and then take down the whole pool? That would be the intent, yes. So that we would try to minimize any shutdown. We do that with all of our projects. Do people understand the, the basic conception of wasting money on that? Um, I believe that when uh, we had an outside consultant come and share, um, I believe the Citizens Task Force did did feel that way as well. The Band-Aid, it's, you know, throwing, I mean, it's really hard to go repair something and then people, oh, well now it might be shut down again and that, then people bring it. When we got the we thought, you know, aquatics is the most important because we need the trails outside, we've got so much outside stuff, we don't have a pool. And it was so easy to see that we were going to have to go to school in a short period of time and nobody wanted to, you know, acknowledge that. Right. Yes? If you've never been over and watched the hurricanes practice, you're going to see unbelievable uh, unity of kids learning to 
not run into each other, not bumping <laughs> into each other, but waiting out of the way while the others are swimming. It is, and they are so good about doing it. If you've ever not been there, go there. It makes you want to do something to make this work because they love what they do and they don't have a place to do it. Yeah, and that's our job. And we have we have a fabulous relationship with the hurricanes, and then we also they they certainly are very sensitive to this pool. Um, but you know, creating this type of space, because currently then they get their lanes cut back when we have to do swim lessons. I mean, certainly that's part of our our mission. Um, this way we could have swim lessons going on and then the hurricanes can still use the pool. And if people are lap lane swimmers, they can come over here because we're always a staff delicate balance. You know, there's drop-in folks, there's the masters, the, the, you know, the bottom line is we have a broad aquatic needs. But uh, your pool, the pool is very old and we are somewhat concerned and we don't even have the money if, to do any repairs if it was something was to happen. And I don't mean to intend to scare anybody. It's once again trying to give you the facts as the community. But with these two projects, that 34 million, 8 million being this one and 5.5, that's $3.5 million that we're looking at. Because I know some people, $34 million? Well, Pools cost some money, has to do with many things. So I'm going to answer this little gentleman and then I'm going to come over to you. Yes. Um, so that pool is um, the new outline that might cut into the gymnastics gym? No, this would not cut into the gymnastics gym. It looks like No, it would not currently as the footprint has. I'm sorry, I'm coming back to you. So it's not only hurricanes, the high school swim team uses this pool too. And right. that's a big program that provides an activity for a lot of our kids. Right. Um, and I guess my question is, the bleachers, right now the swim meet uh, experience for spectators is not great. Is that going to be something too that they would address? Um, it, it would stay existing where they, the current bleachers are. We did look at pushing out because I thought we could look at expanding. Now this is your parking lot, right? There's a walkway here. I tried to 